Hi everybody, uh, Joe here from Data Analytics Ireland. We blog post on data analytics, uh, do le weekly live streams and videos here as well. So if you like us hit the subscribe button and like and hopefully you enjoy this video. So today we're going to talk about type error, uh, type object is not scriptable. So it's uh, actually one I've come across quite regularly and when you think about it, um, it's quite straightforward, but just wanted to show you an example of how it comes about, how to fix it. It's actually very easy to fix. So let's have a look at the code here. So I've got a bit of a, a, a statement here, right? So I'm gonna run this here, right? So in this code here on the screen, you've seen this problem uh, with the error where this video is about. So what, what it's actually doing is it's going down to the code but it's finding the error. Now, the actual error is this bit here. I'll fix that in a second, but I wanna take you to the code, kind of get an example of what it's doing and why we get this error. So we have in this scenario, um, variable called name one and Joe, okay? And basically Joe has three letters. Um, so just gonna go through this because it's important for the actual explanation of what the problem is. So. When you, if you were to get the index of those values, it's zero, one, and two, okay? Next thing I wanna do is create an empty list, okay? That's fine. And the third one I'm gonna do is get the string length of Joe, of name one, um, okay? And in that instance, it's three. Now, it's important to remember, the string in, uh, the, the length of a string may be three, but that's one value, but that goes from one to three, okay? it doesn't uh, equate to the index, it just creates the length. So it's basically saying, either it's once, twice, two, it says, okay, it's three, when it runs through the len function, okay? And that's important because in the next couple of lines where we're gonna fix this problem, this will become obvious, all right? So we have a while statement here, and we're basically saying, while the while string length is greater than zero, okay, do these next two lines. So we're basically saying empty list and plus equals, okay? And the plus equals is basically, is each time it's iterating, it's just adding on the variable that it finds into the list and it appends, it's basically, it's like an append, okay? And then the next thing it's saying string. Now, normally when you do a string on something, you have an, an open bracket uh, and close bracket. In this instance, we don't have that. What we have is the, the box brackets instead. And as a result, when you put, have those box brackets, it doesn't recognize it. It recognizes the string function, but it says, hey, hold on, um, I don't have the um, the normal brackets that I usually got, I've got these square brackets. And what it's basically trying to do, we're gonna fix that in a second, but basically saying is each time it loops through this, it's going, um, it's taking a string length, which is three, but it's what it's doing is it's starting at minus one, it's starting minus one, it's basically going back one step. And the reason for that is, you have to go back one step to bring it back to the index value of two. And as it loops through this, then it goes back to the index value of one. And then as it goes back, it goes back to the index value of zero. So in essence, this line here is basically looking, get these two lines here, five and six, are each time adjusting uh, the value string length to get the index values, which returns the value we want, okay? So as you can see here, as obviously, we have this error down here. So how do we fix this? Well, actual fact, this is very easily fixed. So in here, we shouldn't have had str string, as we know it's a function. All we do that is we're gonna reference that back to the variable name, because that's what we're looping through. So if we change this to name one, okay. All right. So now what's happening is it's basically going through this loop, and uh, each time it's it's taking name one, name one, and a name one, as we know, has index values zero, one, two. It's finding an index value of each one. It's doing the addition into the empty list, and then it's basically until it goes unless until it goes down to zero, it's going to keep doing it. So we know there's only three values in this, okay? And then obviously it's printing the empty list. So let's just rerun this code, okay? So as you can see, uh, the code now is output at EOJ here, okay, in backwards, and essentially. The while statement is just going basically to the end. The minus one basically is uh, is the index value is going to the end, and it's basically finding the the, the, the last value which is of index two. So three minus two is uh, sorry three minus one is two, and two equates to e. Then when it loops back again, it says uh, two minus one here is one. 
and one is the value zero and then it, when it loops the final time one minus one is zero and as i say hold on the one minus one is zero the index value of zero is j and it, it's each time it's appending it to the empty list so it's, in essence that's how you would go about fixing this type error i hope you've liked it um please subscribe hit the like button weekly blog posts as i said videos um try to do it on a number of different things we're expanding the channel we're also doing on sql we'll be doing a number of things on other ide tools which are free we'll be starting to do some data visualization uh, videos soon and do them either through these type of videos or we'll do them um through the live stream so i hope you like this i hope you got benefit out i hope it fixed the problem you have thanks for popping along and we'll see you soon bye